I tell you what guys, we've got a bit of a dramatic episode today. We've got people suing people, people stealing stuff, all kinds. Uh, but of course, we got to get into the release recap. So if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. This is what we do. We're talking about upcoming sneakers. Uh, of course, we recap what happened over the weekend in terms of sneaker releases. Did you get it? Did you miss out? Um, the first one we're going to talk about is the text message. Did you get it? <laughs> you probably didn't. The Union Jordan 4 that released. They've got the taupe haze uh, and then the desert moss colorway. Now, I believe they actually still might be sending text messages out. Uh, essentially, it was a global raffle and everybody had to put in their number and their email address. Uh, and then basically they contact you if you manage to get a pair, uh, which I didn't get a text message. Hopefully, maybe I still will. I don't know. I kind of saw on their story that they were sending text messages all weekend. However, it's Sunday today. I probably didn't get them. Anybody who did miss out, you may have a second chance uh, on the Nike sneakers app. We did have some other releases. We had the Yeezy Mono uh, Cinder, the Mono Cinder, the fourth colorway of the Mono 350 pack. Possibly the most hyped, possibly the most in demand. Uh, I'm not too sure it was 100% the most limited, exclusive to Yeezy Supply and uh, China, I believe. And those are kind of the only places that it released. Uh, I don't know, did you get this pair? Probably not. Uh, and then our final release, which was yesterday, the 26th of June. And of course, that was the Yeezy 450 Dark Slate. Did you get this pair? Now, listen, I struck out on Adidas and all of the other like 15 raffles that I entered, except for one, except for one. So guys, this is all I'm showing you today because you gotta come back tomorrow and uh, you get to see what's inside this box right here. But I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna tuck it away real nice. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and get ready for that review coming uh, again, like I said, tomorrow. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the releases. If you managed to get anything else, if I missed anything else uh, out, then let me know down in the comment section. But that is pretty much what I went for this weekend. Uh, I believe the Union Jordan 4 was actually last weekend. However, you know, the raffle, the text message is coming through through uh, throughout the week and this weekend. So yeah, uh, let's get on with the news. First story up here today is a bit of a Kanye West drama, which is actually pretty hilarious. So something that we didn't speak about, which I think happened a while ago, maybe a month or something like that, uh, was Kanye West getting sued by Walmart or potentially just Walmart getting, potentially uh, putting a lawsuit together because of the logo. So the Yeezy logo, which was like these lines, I'll put up an image uh, and, then, and then Walmart basically saying, listen, that's very similar to our logo and uh, they were starting to put together some kind of lawsuit or something like that. I don't actually know what happened to that whole thing. But now Kanye's like, listen, bro, you're talking about a logo where you're ripping off my foam runners. Uh, so now Kanye West or Yeezy brand is suing Walmart over Yeezy foam runner ripoff. So uh, I don't know if you've been on Walmart's website and you've actually maybe bought a pair or you've at least seen these, but they're called the, uh, the Dayful Adult Children's Summer Beach Shoes Foam Runner Anti-Slipper Sandals Casual Color. Uh, they've got they've got black, which looks similar to I guess the mineral blue. They've got a sand color. They've got a really bright blue colorway. Uh, they've got a white. They got a red. They got a pink, uh, and then they got a yellow color. So oh, and then they got these mixture ones as well. But yeah, Walmart has a bunch of uh, fake foam runners on their website, and Yeezy's not having it. Which again, uh, you know, seeing how proud Kanye is of this design being so innovative and you know. Pretty, pretty crazy in, in my opinion. Uh, so he's he's obviously going to clap back at this. Uh, and then yes, uh, Walmart did respond. West team is seeking major damages. In response, Walmart issued a statement to the outlet clarifying that the offending products are not its own and sold by third party vendors. Um, we take allegations like this seriously and are reviewing the claim, Walmart said. Uh, we will respond in court as appropriate after we have been served with the complaint. So obviously Walmart has this thing where they do allow uh, third party people. So I guess it's kind of like Amazon in a sense, or at least the website of Walmart. Um, but yeah, I mean, counterfeit goods on your site, 
being sold. I'm sure you're taking a cut Walmart of this just by them having it on your site. Yeah, it's not a good look, but uh, yeah, uh, maybe their checks are just not that great. This does look like a pair of foam runners that you would find on AliExpress or DHgate, any of those. Uh, but yeah, I did think this was kind of funny just because the whole like Walmart going after Yeezy and now Yeezy going after Walmart for, I would say something a little bit more clearly uh, a, a, an infringement on the goods of Yeezy rather than the logo, which I don't even think it looked that close, let's be honest. And. Yeah, anyway, that was uh, that was pretty funny, but now we've got something a little bit more serious, okay? This is pretty big news. Louis Vuitton, Virgil Abloh, and Nike, and you put it on an Air Force One? What? Yes, this is going to be, uh, take a look right here, because this is going to be one of the most hyped up uh, collaborations that we've seen in 2021. Uh, we've got these two colorways right here, which are kind of like the head image. I would probably assume some of the most popular colorways, but at the end of the day, they're making 21 different colorways, apparently. So this was showed off at Paris Fashion Week. Look at these two images. Uh, we got the yellow and we got the uh, checkered brown and you've got the air on the side, which actually looks pretty weird considering that there already is an air text on the, you know, the bottom heel portion. And then he puts the air in quotation. So there's like two right next to each other. Uh, and then you've got lacet in quotations on the laces instead of laces. I don't know why that's lacet. Um, maybe because it's LV and it's a little bit, it's a little bit more bougie. Um, you've got Louis Vuitton tags all over it. Louis Vuitton logos in debossed into the leather uh, and then kind of printed onto the canvas material. So let's take a look at some of these colorways. We've got uh, this one right here, which is probably my least favorite. Uh, not just least favorite, I really don't like this asshole. So it's kind of like this shiny, maybe patent leather, blue, black, yellow. Um, you got black laces, I don't know, this is just, it's not my kind of thing, but if this is your kind of thing, well, this is a colorway that potentially could be coming through. We got the, the yellow pair, which I think looks dope. Uh, we've got a red pair, which looks maybe even more dope to me at least. I like this red one a lot. Uh, then we've got this one, which might be my favorite. It's super interesting. You got a bunch of double stuff going on. Maybe some Sakai vibes in there, two tongues. You've got a, like a high version at the back with the low. Um, and then you've got obviously around the toe box, like this cut off extra piece. I don't know, there's a lot going on with this pair of shoes. I like it. I think this looks pretty damn clean. Uh, and then you got another checkered brown one with a bunch of like Grim Reaper pictures on it. I'm not too sure what that that is. Um, and then you've got a purple one. You still got the off-white tag uh, on the Nike swoosh, which looks cool. A lot of distressed vibes in terms of the, you know, the stitching around the Nike swoosh as well. Uh, you got this one, which looks super, super clean. White with the black midsole, the black laces. Uh, you do have a shiny swoosh as well. And then this one, again, probably just like the other one, not my favorite whatsoever. You got some kind of uh, mirrored finish on the toe box. Uh, and then, of course, the LV lo logos all over it. So I suspect that these are some of the ones. However, it is rumored to have 21 different pairs, 21 different colorways um, of this collaboration. It looks awesome. Uh, and I know a lot of people are going to be extremely hyped up about this. So yeah, here it is. All of the different colorways that we got. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more images of this as the year progresses. I'm just going to interrupt the video real quick to tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people or more generally people who just want to learn a new skill or improve upon an existing one. Like I've told you guys, I've taken videography and photography Skillshare classes along the way of creating this YouTube channel. And right now I'm trying to navigate shorter form content on Instagram, like with reels and stuff like that. So I'm taking this class with Halise Nervez called Video for Instagram, how to tell an engaging story in less than a minute. I've always wanted to get better at creating valuable content and condensing it down into 30 seconds or less. Classes are curated for learning, so no ads, and they're always launching new ones, adding to the list of over 25,000 classes taught by experts. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get an entire month free Skillshare Premium. So whether you're embarking on a new business idea or just brushing up on the skills you already have, use the link in my description to get you started. And with that being said, let's get back into today's video. Take a look at the first looks of of the Quarter Snacks Nike SB Dunk Low Zebra or Zebra. Um, I mean, what do you want me to say, guys? This, I mean, it's a clean pair of Dunk Lows. 
I don't mind it whatsoever. I kind of like the, the, the zebra print on it, uh, black and white. It looks pretty clean. It is supposed to be coming this year, but uh, you know, we're getting so many dunks at this point. Do you like it? Hmm, you can try and put your name in the hat if you don't keep it moving. So we're not going to spend too much time. Uh, it is supposed to be releasing this year. So if it's something that you are particularly excited for, I would be on the lookout. There's no specific month. Uh, however, again, this year. Uh, we got another big one, another heavy hitter. Like I said, you guys, you got to strap in for today's video because we've got another heavy, heavy hitter. And of course, it's Travis Scott doing his thing, collaborating with brands. Uh, and of course, this is Dior kind of had a little bit of a thing going on with the Jordan one Dior, like he was the, the promo person. So I guess he was involved at least to some degree. Well, now he is all the way involved uh, and they are now collaborating on sneakers and potentially a clothing line. So here is some of the sneakers and that's mainly what we're going to focus on today. So it's a completely just a Dior and Cactus Jack sneaker and we got a bunch of different colorways. Uh, so take a look. We got some kind of what is that crocodile print. They're very average in my opinion. They're okay. Nothing that I'm crazy excited about. They look, they look pretty cool. If you're a huge fan of Dior, if you're a huge fan of, of uh, Travis Scott, then maybe this is something that you're super into. But as far as a sneaker goes, I'm cool. Like, you know, it's, it's okay. Anything that Travis Scott touches seems to just turn to gold. I mean, if he can pull off a McDonald's collaboration, he can just pretty much pull off anything. So yeah, this is definitely going to be happening. Again, it's another kind of high fashion. Uh, you know, I think this was also at Paris Fashion Week. I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, it is the spring summer 22 collection. So I assume it would release in 2022. But yeah, here's some other images, some more close up images of what we can expect. We got some snake skin action. You got the browns and everything. Like, honestly, I don't think this sneaker would be popular at all. Um, I think it is going to be significantly just the fact that Travis Scott is involved that makes this popular. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, it's a very average looking pair of shoes and probably not something that I'm hugely excited about. But if you are and you're fine with paying Dior prices, then uh, go for it and good luck to you. We just had the Dark Slate Yeezy 450 release. Well, guess what? We got another colorway in the pipeline. Now take a look at this one right here. This is the Yeezy 450 in the resin colorway. Now we've heard that resin name been put on a pair of slides. All over monochromatic, just like the last two that we've seen. Um, I know that the Yeezy 450 is a crazy model and they probably can do some crazy stuff with that design. I think a contrasting upper and midsole could look quite cool. So hopefully in the future they, you know, they experiment with it. But hey, we're getting a third colorway in one year. They announced this pair of shoes here in 2021. We got the first colorway, we got the second colorway, and now we're getting a third in this all over resin. Honestly, it's not my favorite, uh, but again, it's not bad. If you're really into the 450, I don't think it's a bad colorway whatsoever. Uh, however, December is going to be the release date for this one. And of course, it's going to be the $200 that we've seen on the last two uh, models as well. Very comfortable shoe. And I know I know the 450 looks pretty crazy coming out of the box when it's all squished down. But when you put it on foot, let me tell you guys, it looks it looks really good. And it's I think it's an awesome pair of shoes when you have it and you're wearing it. It definitely is a good looking pair of shoes. So, yeah, look forward to this one in December. But we got some Jordan news coming up uh, and this is this one right here. So we got the Bordeaux Jordan one high uh, and this is supposed to be coming this year. Actually, this is a pair of Jordan ones that we've seen. Uh, rumored for a long time and I believe when like the first images came out or the first kind of rumors of this colorway like people photoshopped a uh, what was it the the co.jp the navy one and the midnight navy co.jp jordan one and they put these colors on it so everyone was like ah, that's fake that's just an imaginary colorway that's not going to be releasing however these are actually images uh, it's because it has that swoosh and it has that wings logo that looks very similar to the midnight navies so yeah it, it's obvious Obviously, this is an actual pair. The leather's looking good. It's looking soft. It's looking supple. It's looking tumble. Uh, I like this color, Bordeaux. We saw it on um, the PSG Jordan 4. 
and that mixed with the white I think was one of the cleanest Jordan 4s. I really really like that one and this on a Jordan 1 looks just looks perfect, looks great. The leather's looking good as well which gets me excited. I hate it when it's a nice colorway but the leather's trash um, so hopefully this one does not disappoint. But yeah sometime in 2021 I believe pretty soon uh, we do have like already some scheduled Jordan 1 so I believe you know it won't be for the next couple months but uh, sometime this year is what we're all expecting. We got another dunk. <laughs> this time it's one of those GR ones that we've seen. So take a look at this one here, white and gray. This one's called Gray Fog. It's gonna be coming, uh, actually it's very, very similar to the, um, the Vast Gray High or pretty much identical to the Vast Gray High that released earlier this year. Um, so again, a super wearable dunk low. If you can hit for retail, you're doing great. You can wear it, you feel good about it. Uh, if you don't and you're looking towards the resale, I don't know, the leather quality is not that great on the GRs as I've said over and over again. So yeah, I think it's this is probably a really nice colorway. Like I would take this over an all white and I think as far as summertime goes and you got a nice little gray and white dunk in the rotation, you're definitely not doing too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna speak too much on this one. It should be coming very, very soon, a 2021 release date. Uh, but let's keep it moving. Undercover, if you forgot about them. Well, they are coming back with Nike, of course. They keep on doing collaborations with Nike, but this one, this one is very, very interesting. So take a look at these Air Forces right here. They're they're a little bit different, right? They're, they're different to what we've seen, and I'm liking it. So take a look at something, take a look at around their ankles. What is that? It's kind of like this neoprene sock liner thing that extends up, so it's kind of like a mid, uh, Air Force One, not necessarily a low, but it's kind of like a low. Uh, it really reminds me of the Harachi with that neoprene sock liner. I think it, they look pretty cool. They look comfortable, man. Uh, my two favorites would be the triple white in the back would probably be my favorite. Uh, and then the one on the right hand side, I'm not sure where it's going to, if it's going to flip on your guys' screen, but the one with all of that weird print on it, I think that one looks super awesome. Uh, you also get this weird like kind of belt buckle thing on the, on the heel counter, like it's plastic, but you also got a strap that goes up towards the laces. So I am really liking this. It's something very, very different. Other other kind of undercover collaborations we've seen have been uh, a little bit more of just like a color change. I think that these are going to look the best with shorts um, because this guy's wearing a pair of baggy pants that cover all of that that sock liner action and it just looks like a regular pair of Air Force Ones. So I'm liking the shorts in this uh, and I'm, I'm down for it. But yeah, anyway, release date on these should be uh, the first half of 2022. Let's keep it moving to a, uh, a Nike Dunk, which again, we've been seeing getting rumored for a long time. So this one here, which we've been talking about for a long time, a kind of Chicago themed uh, Nike SB Dunk Low. And yeah, it, it is actually coming. It is in the pipeline and it is coming. So we've actually got some early pairs floating around as well. However, we basically got our, this rendered image and then we've got uh, these images of the tongue and the lace thing. I forgot what that's called. I know you guys keep on telling me what it's called, but I keep forgetting. Um, so this is all we've got, guys. We don't have an image of the actual shoe just yet. I'm sure we'll get that very, very soon. Uh, but we've got two different colorways apparently coming this October in 2021. This one right here, which I don't think is really going to do it for very many people. This is the NBA Nike Dunk Low EMB 75th anniversary, and it is coming in October. 2021. Now listen guys, we're going to end it off on one more insane story, which is heartbreaking, confusing. I'm going to take you through the, I'm going to take you through the motions, right? We're going to go on a little journey together. What we got here, and I'm going to read you this title, and then we're going to get into the sticks, and we're going to get into the details. So, seller blames StockX for lost Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red Octobers. Whew. Essentially, this guy on Twitter, San Nimat, says, Someone at StockX has lost my Yeezy 2 Red Octobers. 
very fishy as pictures are always taken of the item and returned if there was an issue not bent. Now in this thread, in this Twitter thread, there's a lot going on, a lot of stuff that I'm not necessarily going to just read out word for word, but essentially he has a screenshot of his sale um, and it says here, item received at StockX for authentication. It's a size nine and it shows the order number that he made or the sale number. So essentially StockX sends him an email and they say, we received a random pair of shoes with this label. We didn't get the red Octobers. We take a lot of care checking all of the packages, making sure they haven't been tampered with just in case someone swapped it out from the UPS truck. Um, so they did that and they didn't find any item variances with the boxes, any damage or any tampering. So they said, we can't do anything about it. This is on you. So then he replies and he's like, this is impossible. I sent the Yeezy Red Octobers. If a random shoe were in there, why did it take you two Two weeks to message me and tell me this if it was a random shoe. That is also very true. Two weeks to get back to someone considering kind of the value of this product, it seems a bit crazy to me. I would be pretty mad. Uh, if a random shoe was sent, please show me pictures of what I sent uh, and show me the box. Please could a senior member of staff speak to me because this is absolutely ridiculous from a company this big, especially when I've supported for a while. They get back to him and they say, I'm truly sorry about the confusion and the delay in our response about your issue. I had an our on-site facility manager check into this issue further and it has been confirmed that when this item was scanned into our facility and marked as received, the shoe that came out of the box was not the Yeezy Red October. At this time, we don't have photo proof of the actual item uh, received and we no longer have the shoe that was sent instead of the Red Octobers as this has been discarded since the actual shoe didn't arrive to us now that sounds pretty fishy to me uh, and then the thread kind of continues and he's updating people uh, he has another update so he says StockX will not pay and are claiming I sold them a different shoe with a different tracking number uh, stories changed you know what one of the funniest parts this is a little side note before we carry on is on this thread you know who chimes in here which is hilarious eBay <laughs> So they reply to this guy and StockX and they're like, we're so sorry to hear about your Red Octobers. We've just launched our authentic authenticity guarantee to protect buyers and sellers of premium sneakers on eBay. Follow us, we'd like to DM you a little, a little something to try it out. And then I think what they did was they actually sent him like a gift card of like 20, 20 pounds or something. And they were like, I know it's not Red Octobers, but we hope that this can help you out a little bit. I'm like, damn, like they're savage. This is hilarious. Um, so I just thought it was funny. Like I know companies do this all the time, but eBay sliding in there, they are really, really taking on StockX, taking on GOAT. eBay is out here uh, and they don't give a damn. And it's kind of like unresolved. Like they did put out another statement. They said they put out another tweet. We confirmed through collaboration with our career partner and extensive security footage that the item shipped and received was not the actual item solved. While our initial seller communication may have led to confusion, we are confident in the findings. We do not release spe the specifics of individual cases. We have communicated the full findings of our investigation directly to the seller in question. It's a tough one because, you know, I feel like if this this is, you know, if this is going to be a public matter, and of course a lot of people use StockX, like, you do really want to put out something that at least reassures people that you're not doing stuff like this, because anybody who wants to sell something that is specifically that expensive, I'm sure you're going to think twice about, you know, selling it on StockX just in case, because potentially this could be someone, uh, you know, that works for StockX and maybe they swapped it out. Potentially it could be one of the USPS drivers or the, the USP drive, UPS drivers, whatever, FedEx, uh, and they swapped it out in transit. Or of course it could be just this seller trying to completely pull a bit of a crazy scam on StockX and uh, send in a random pair of shoes, uh, whatever, even though there's no conclusion and we don't even know, I think it is going to make a lot of people think twice about selling their high profile items on StockX.
StockX. I'm very, very interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this one. Uh, so please let me know down in the comment section what you think of this story and what would you do if this was you? How would you react if you sent off your pair of your Red Octobers and StockX replied to you like this and took you through the ringer? Let me know down in the comment section, but like I said, this is the final story. I gotta leave you guys. I gotta love you and leave you. And thank you so much for coming through for today's episode. Again, I'm here every single Sunday, so please do subscribe to the channel because of course uh, you get some updates. And we got that Yeezy 450 reviews coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.